This is New Hampshire Cross Country. We are at the 2023 Capital Area Championships at Merrimack Valley. Do you know what year this is? Do you have that information? I believe this is 2023, Well, I got that. <laughs> Thank you. So the boys race is about to go off. They're on the line here and they're gonna run straight at us. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's funny. Um, 2023 it means it's the 46th annual oh wow Capital Area interesting <laughs> all right so we got um, a few individuals to look out for I think uh, Josiah Connolly should be towards the front um, Tyler Watt as well and then um, we got Bo Alden Betterly Matt Kinnear, Ben Daniels as they come at us yeah. St. Paul's here we should see uh, Andrew Carroll and Jonathan Bass Pacelli Hallen Velagas going right out to the front. You can see him with the headband on. So he's not messing around from the gun, or the air horn, I should say. All right, Pacelli's still in the lead. Connolly right behind him. And they are way out in front compared to the rest of the pack here. So we get a quick glimpse of them here. Like Daniels out in front for Hopkinton. Big Hopkinton group right there. I think they got four through in that front pack. They have a sharp corner. People are kind of bumping into each other here. So after this point, they kind of go around the, the field a little bit and they come right back to us. So we'll see them right at the mile mark in just a few minutes. Well, less than a minute, actually. So at that point in the race, uh, we can start looking at teams. Right now, it's not quite there yet, especially like you said with these sharp turns. Yeah, I think definitely Hopkinton going out pretty hard on the team side. We're gonna spin you over here. We're gonna see them go through the mile mark right there. I think that was right around the five minute. So that is Bocelli and Josiah battling it out. Hopkinton's number one. Almost a 100 meter lead here. Newfound one, two. Oh, Hopkinton's number two. Interlakes with two. Merrimack Valley with two. Old John Stark going through. Man, this is pretty mixed up on the team side. Yeah, St. Paul's is at three now, but same thing can be said with Bo with at least four. Yeah, Hopkinton's got three. Guilford um, with another couple. Yeah, I think Guilford looks pretty good. And also, uh, Newfound. Here's Hopkinton's four. Bo has five past us, I know that much. Yeah, so I think in that in that first shot, I saw the, the white with the big letter on it, and it was Newfound and Hopkinton, not all one team. Interlake says uh, five past. Yeah, that's what Guilford does. Hopkinton does as well at this point. So, number of teams up in the, that mix, but again, um, no no clear favorite yeah, at this it looks, point. Yeah, it looks pretty mixed up on, on terms of the team side. But um, I think the uh, the battle for first individually looks pretty interesting. We'll have to see how they are once they finish this woods loop that they're about to uh, enter. Because those two up front are ripping at this point. Yeah, it's definitely curious to see who's going to make that move and, and where. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of those kind of shoulder shoulder battles this year. I know one that comes to mind would be uh, Giardina and Leno at uh, Battle of the Border. And, you know, Giardina made a few kind of fake out moves to, to, to test Leno and then he, he dropped him after the two miles. So my guess is uh, we might see a little bit similar strategy, even though it's two totally different people. All right, so we'll pick them up as they head back towards us out of the far woods loop. All right, here are our leaders coming around the corner here. Bocelli in the lead, followed very closely by Josiah. Which was slightly different about 30 seconds ago, but... Yeah, just in that little woods loop, looked like uh, Bocelli put on a little bit of a burst. Got probably five meters at this point. And then we have the chase pack coming out of the woods. Let's see who this is. Can't read 
the shirt yet. Is that Proctor? I think that's Proctor. Just like it is. Bye -bye. Followed Let's by to Newport. Come on, Matt, you got this, you got this. Go, 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 Matt. Nice job. St. Paul's up there with two runners and Interlakes with two. So still pretty mixed up on the teams with, I think, less than a mile to go at this point. So pretty soon we're going to have to run over to the finish line and see who comes out on top between uh, Bocelli and Josiah and then check on the team scores there. All right, we are now at the finish line. Leaders coming around the corner and it's going to be Bocelli in the lead. Here we go, Josiah! Finishing hard ahead of Josiah. So that's Bocelli, Helen Velakis winning right ahead of Josiah Connolly. Pretty close together. It was about five or ten seconds between them. Yeah, probably a pretty good race for the two of them. Probably pretty happy to have the, the company of each other for the race. You know, they definitely, I think, took turns leading it. Don't you know. know for how long of each, but... And as you can see, uh, they didn't really have anybody else to race. But we will have a fight for the finish of the podium here. Yeah, so, I mean, one Guilford, one Conquer. And then we've got Proctor, followed by Hopkinton and Bo. So everyone single digits team-wise so And far. then St. Paul's. And then Newfound, not Newport. John Stark, Newfound, this will be their second, so the first team with two. St. Paul's, that's their second coming down as well. I think this is usually the only race uh, that I get to see St. Paul's at, so. Interlake, Hopkinton, St. Nope. Paul's for three, oh. Merrimack Valley, moving Interlake's in again. Keep moving in stand order. Yeah, so I think St. Paul's nice job, looking pretty good. Okay. I think their four and five was, was uh, you know, pretty well towards the front the last time we saw them, so. So this should be Bose number two. Looks like another St. Paul's. So that's four, four for St. Paul's and three, three for Bo. And then John Stark, that's at least number two for them. Another Hopkinton, Hopkinton but then three or four. I believe that's St. Paul's five right there. Another for Valley, Merrimack Valley, of course. Uh, but yeah, I, I think you are correct for St. Paul's. Yeah, I, like I think the that most. should do it for them. Good slew of Guilford right here. Yeah, they, if Guilford can get a five in pretty soon, um, they'll be in good shape because they do have, obviously, that that one point from Bocelli. Yep. Uh, Bo now with four. Yeah, St. Paul's no one, like, way up front, but um, they just got a lot of people in really quickly. Home team Merrimack Valley now with four. And that's Valley's fifth. Conquer comes across. Uh, that's Bo's number five. Unless I already said five for them. I believe that's five for Bo. This is going to be Concord's four coming in. I, I think Belmont should have, um, I think, four in with this runner. Definitely at least three. Might be four. All right, here's St. Paul's six. So they're some pretty, pretty deep. Some displacement right there. I think, uh, again, a number of teams already have that five, though. All right, and here comes the five for Guilford. So I think Guilford should be uh, should be up there. I remember last year, I think they came in either second or third. Uh, here we go. A few good kicks. Pembroke, Hopkinton, Conquer, Bo. Let's go! Yeah! Yeah, there's St. Paul's top seven through. Yeah, they look good. order, keep moving. Here, Sarge. Yeah, I remember last year uh, we had Patrick Gandini win individually, but then um, his his team did really, really well at That's this right. meet. I believe they were second or third, and uh, he was he was pumped about his team. He didn't care about himself. Yeah, no, I, I remember they were so excited last year because they had an awesome race, uh, and and it looks like uh, this year as well they did super well. 
No, I remember that. Inter watching that interview, he was just jacked up for his team. This is great. As we see Keir Sarge crossing the line. Yeah, it's nice they have that low number again in, in Bocelli after uh, Patrick left. So I think they should be looking pretty good for next week. Trying to start. Brady, Bo, kick from Proctor. Although, yeah, I think Hopkinton will, uh, will be up there next week as well. Brady crops. Here, Sarge. Pembroke, Merrimack Valley, making sure they kick all the way to the end. Keep moving, please. So I'd say got the majority of the guys pass at this point, and uh, we should probably get ourselves ready for the girls' race. Yeah, they're lining up on the start over here. So we see Brady finish up, John Stark behind. Once again, this is New Hampshire Cross Country, powered by Runner's Alley, in case someone didn't say it earlier. Our meet coverage today brought to you by Hoka. Be sure to go to Runner's Alley, check out some Hoka. See what uh, all the excitement is about. And uh, there's some Hokas just went by right there. Yeah, we'll move on to the excitement of the girls' race.